Hi, I'd like to show you a quick demo of how to make changes directly to a file in Gitia. So Gitia is a web-based UI for Git, and it also does the management of Git on, a ser Git on a server. So it's a real nice tool for managing a bunch of repositories, organizing them, uh, tracking issues, pull requests, and pretty much like GitHub, only you can host it yourself. So the first thing I do on most repos is I go into Settings, branches and I I uh, enable push protection on the main branch and what this does is it forces all changes to go through pull requests and there's there's several reasons for that one is if you want email notifications pull requests trigger email notifications and secondly it just just kind of forces a good practice uh, if that's what you want so to, to continue on with our demo, we're going to try to we're going to make some edits to this README markdown file. So we README by default is displayed when you open up a repo, but you can click on README, and then you'll notice there's a pencil edit file over here. So we'll click on that, and then let's add a list. And then let's also add another sub-document. Let's say we want to add another document in this repo, and let's call it um, to-do list. So this is the syntax for creating links in Markdown. You put the displayed text in brackets, and then the actual link. This could be a H. TTP link as well to anywhere on the internet. And then if we pre preview this, we'll see that uh, this is a link and then this is a list of items. So we're done with our changes and let's go ahead and commit them. We can put a descriptive comment here add list and link to to do list. And notice we can't commit these directly to the main branch, so it's going to have us create a new branch and start a pull request. So in this case, we can just go with the default, that's fine. We could, we could use a descriptive name as well. So let's propose these changes and create a new pull request. Okay, so now we have a pull request, and if we click on the Files Change tab over here, we can see what changes are being proposed in this pull request. So at this point, we could add reviewers, uh, milestones, assign it to someone else, but there can also be some discussion here or review, and, you know, I'm just kind of pretend I'm someone else. I could say these changes look good. Perhaps create to do file yet. So someone might make that comment. The other thing you can also do is you can actually do a review. So you can come in here and you can add a comment saying, What is item one? And we can start a review or add a single comment. In this case, I'm just going to add a single comment. So now in the conversation tab, notice there's a uh, there's this comment that's that's kind of added right in right into to my change. And if we go over to files changed, notice that when it shows us the diff, it puts our comments right in there. So this is a very nice way we can we can uh, comment directly on on what's on the proposed change. So after we're, everybody's happy with this, we'll create a merge. Re merge commit. And now if we go back to the demo repo, we'll notice there's our list and a link. But if we click on this link, we'll notice there's it doesn't exist yet because this uh, this link links to todo.md, which is another markdown file which does not exist. So let's create a new file. We'll call it todo.md and we'll give it a title things we need to do yet. Uh, 
Okay, so our document's done. And we're going to just say add file name. That's fine. We'll just go with the defaults. Propose changes. And new pull request. And again, if we look at files change, it sh it's showing us what it wants to change. And then we can just create the merge request. Now if we go back to a demo repo, we'll notice there's a todo.md. And if we click on this to-do link, it'll take us to this file. So this is the way you can quickly edit documents right inside of Gitia. No, no checkouts required, no command line. Uh, no fancy git stuff, just just basic. The process to open a pull request and go through all that may seem like a lot of clicks and perhaps a lot of overhead, but it really doesn't take that long. And the thing it gives you is the opportunity to review and comment, get feedback from others, get approvals from others, and add workflow to, to your uh, to your documentation process. So I, I think that's a huge value and hopefully this video helped you understand how that can all work. Thanks.